I just say, when I was 17 or 18 or 19 or 20 or 21, I mean, basically up until last year when I was 43, like the biggest thing on my mind, like when I was 17 was, oh, I hope I look good in my yearbook picture. It wasn't, you know, I hope I can go out and change the world. And I just, I'm, I do these events a lot. And I, and I say this over and over again. I'm so in awe of how keyed in, how well-spoken, you know, how just present younger and younger and younger uh, people are these days and for these girls to be so self-aware to know what they want to know how to go after getting what they want it is so beautiful to see I barely know what I didn't even know what I wanted for lunch and they only gave me one option I was like let me think they're like no this is all you're getting I'm like I love this so a hearty, hearty congratulations to, the, to the, all the scholars as we continue to go through the afternoon. Anyway, welcome back to the second half of the program. This is the first time I've been to an event where there was an intermission in the middle of lunch. I was like, this is so exciting. Like, what happens now? Nothing happened. It was just more talking to the people I know. I should have walked to other tables is what I should have done. Um, if you haven't had a chance to donate to the challenge, staff are available in the back of the room. I wanted to remind everyone you can also give online at give.girlsinc.org slash 2018. Again, thank you for your commitment to ensure that all girls have the, the support and the resources to grow up strong and smart and bold. You cannot say that enough. It is so important for young girls to hear it over and over again so it becomes part of who they are and they believe it. Please keep sharing with your social networks all uh, afternoon. Hashtag uh, champion for girls and hashtag girls Inc.